A roof briquetting machine helps increase the value of your scrap, free up shop space, reclaim coolant from scrap material, and can run operator free. The briquetting system is operated hydraulically and controlled via the PLC. A hydraulic pump is driven by the hydraulic drive motor and produces the required pressure. This pressure is transferred to the control block and then the hydraulic hoses deliver it to the cylinders. The hydraulic oil is stored in the hydraulic oil tank, cleaned via the filters, and kept at operating temperature through the hydraulic oil cooler. The process of transforming metal scrap materials into compressed briquettes begins when scrap material is loaded in the feed hopper. The screw conveyor in the hopper carries the material to the precharger chamber. The running time of the screw conveyor is calculated every cycle and controlled by the PLC to ensure a good quality briquette is made every cycle. The screw time will adjust if the particle size or density of the scrap material changes. Once the screw conveyor fills the chamber, the precharger precompresses the material into the pressing chamber. Then the main press piston pushes the material into one of the two dies in the pressing mold. This is where compression continues and the material is formed into a dense block. Pressures are monitored and compression continues until reaching a preset value. As the press piston compresses the material into a dense block, excess coolant is squeezed from the scrap material and is collected in the catch basin beneath the briquetter. Once the excess coolant reaches a predetermined fill level, a pump is triggered to dispense it out of the basin and into another container, such as a filtration unit, for reuse. During this compression process, the ejectors, which are fixed parallel to the main press piston on either side, push the briquette from the previous cycle out through the ejector holes in the front plate. This process dispenses one briquette per cycle and alternates when the new compressed briquette is complete. The main piston and precharger then returns to their home positions. With the precharger upward again, the screw conveyor charges scrap metal into the press chamber once more to begin a new cycle. The mold change cylinder changes the position of the pressing mold so that the previous briquette is placed before an injection opening and the empty die is aligned with the press piston. This process continues until the scrap material in the feed hopper has been depleted. 